Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Chime Juliet and today I'll be sharing how to make apple cider vinegar rinse for natural hair. Apple cider vinegar rinse is also referred to as ACV rinse and it's the same as the ACV rinse you need to use for your faulty natural hair so there's no difference. Before we begin to talk about apple cider vinegar, it's important to understand why this term has become popular in the natural hair community. So, apple cider vinegar also will be henceforth referred to as ACV rinse and it stems from the understanding of natural hair chemistry for our forcey hair to thrive or generally natural hair to thrive you need a balance of not only protein and moisture but also your ph your hair and the ph of products must be regulated to maintain a healthy head of hair and in case you don't know ph means hydrogen strength so people also call it potential of hydrogen it really depends but all it means is the strength of hydrogen Okay, so pH shows if a product is acidic or alkaline and this can only be possible if the product is water-based. So when you check a pH scale, it goes from 0 to 14 and with water at the center with a pH of 7. So don't worry if you don't understand anything I'm saying right now, it's perfectly normal. I will have a more detailed blog post if you would like to, more, to learn more about like natural hair chemistry and why we need apple cider vinegar in our natural hair routine so you can find that on my blog i'll have everything posted on by tomorrow so when a product is has a low ph between 0 to 6.9 is considered to be acidic and healthy natural hair has a ph between 4 to 5.5 so in other words since our healthy hair acid mantle is between 4 to 5.5 then this should be the ph of our hair when we're done with wash day in order to maintain a healthy shining lustrous looking hair and that's where apple cider vinegar comes in so with the ph of three apple cider vinegar rinse helps to lower the high ph of water which is seven in our hair to between four to five point five thereby leaving us with healthy looking natural hair before you begin an apple cider vinegar rinse, always make sure to shampoo and deep condition. So sometimes the shampoo can have a very high pH in order to lift the cuticles to get the dirt out. So you need a deep conditioner that's able to reduce the pH of your hair before using the apple cider vinegar rinse. And it's usually good to use products of the same brand, but obviously that's not always the case. So, but if you can, do use products of the same brand because they're they are usually formulated to make sure that your hair's pH comes back down. All right, so to begin to make the apple cider vinegar recipe, I'm using Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And as of the time this video is being published, this brand has become the most popular when it comes to apple cider vinegar. So I do recommend it, but you can use any brand that you have. All right, so what I have here is one pint of water and all I'm going to do is take half a cup of apple cider vinegar. This recipe works well for me because it's not so strong and is not too diluted, so it's just right. If you don't have a measuring cup like mine, that's absolutely fine. Just uh, you can use the measuring cups you have and you know play around with it until you get that perfect ACV rinse recipe. Okay now, so I'm going to pour the half a cup of apple cider vinegar into the water and I'll be using this as my ACV rinse. A simple, nothing else added, just diluted apple cider vinegar. You don't need to add honey, you don't need to add anything extra. This is a simple apple cider vinegar recipe that will help your cuticles close in order to prevent split ends, breakage and keep your hair from being highly porous. So what I'm simply doing here is transferring the diluted apple cider vinegar rinse into my jug, which I'll be using in the bathroom. And I'm taking off my plastic bag, which I use as a shower cap. And I'm just showing you how I, first of all, rinse with water first, and then I follow with the apple cider vinegar. So you can use it anyway. You can pour it down your hair first or I prefer to put my twist in it first so make sure that the ends of my hair get all that precious diluted apple cider vinegar before I then pour it down my hair so that way every part of my hair gets um, every part of my hair closes well and doesn't have any 
issues with cuticles being raised. All right, so this is the way my hair looks after. I'm just showing you. I was trying to do a hairstyle here, but the hairstyle didn't work out. But then this is like the only clip I have of what my hair looked afterwards. And I just wanted to show you how healthy looking my hair looked in this video because of the apple cider vinegar rinse. And as you can see, it's dark, it's shiny. It just looks oh healthy and amazing. So I hope you all learned something from this video. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and most importantly, don't forget to live well, live great, and pray always. God loves you and God bless you. Take care, lovelies. Bye.